Let's address the breaking news that's just coming in. Venkata Ramanan has quit the board of Tata Trust. Kritika Saxena is here with all the breaking details. Kritika? Well, Arunati, we had reported a very short while ago that the Tata Trust board meeting is ongoing. Uh, the meeting of Sir Dorabji Trust happened today and as a result of that, the entire Tata Trust has taken into cognizance uh, a request for resignation uh, by uh, the managing trustee of the company, R. Venkata Raman. Now, I'm just quickly going to go to the press release before I uh, talk about the background of what led to this. Uh, the managing trustee of the Tata Trust, according to the press release, says that uh, R. Venkata Raman had informed the chairman and the trustees of the Tata Trust that he had been considering other options given that he was completing five years as managing trustee. At the meeting, his resignation has been accepted and subsequent to that, a committee of trustees which comprises of Ratan Tata, who is the chairman of the trust, Mr. Vijay Singh and Venu Srinivasan, the vice chairman of the trust, has been appointed uh, to oversee the operations in the time being, in the interim, uh, till they appoint the next CEO and of course appoint the next chief executive of the trust. Uh, they have also also appointed uh, Noel N. Tata, the chairman of, Ta of Trent and the managing director of Tata International and Jehangir, H.C. Je uh, Jehangir, who is a long-standing philanthropist. Uh, he, they have been appointed uh, as trustees of the Sir Ratan Tata Trust. Now, four trusts essentially together hold 66% stake in Tata Sons. Here's the background. Uh, about uh, two months ago in uh, December, there was an income tax order dated uh, for the year uh, of 2016-2017 uh, that had come to light, which uh, removed the tax exemption that the Dorabji Ratan Tata Trust gets uh, uh, for um, all operations uh, starting 2016-2017 uh, onwards. Now, in that order, they said that uh, the uh, remuneration of R. Venkata Raman was too high and was not in accordance with the deed of the trust. Now, as a result of that, they removed that exemption, the tax exemption, and that came up to be quite high. After that, there was a lot of uh, conversation, there were a lot of uh, repercussions of that particular tax order. And it, it seemed to be that post that, there were reports that suggested that post that R. Venkata Raman had offered to resign in his own, uh, on, on his own rather than actually uh, go through with some process of that. Now, what happens now? Will this mean that the tax order, the tax exemption is going to be removed? It's a question mark. Tata Trust is reportedly looking and we have understood from our sources that they are going to be appealing that tax order. So, we don't know what happens there. But yes, at this point in time, the main contention was uh, his remuneration and the person in, in contest here is uh, now offered to resign and his resignation has been accepted. And the reason that they have given here is that he was completing five years and that he is considering other options. So that is what the formal statement says and they are going to be going ahead and looking at appointing a chief executive here on with a committee that is appointed by three, that is headed by three key uh, senior executives of uh, the Tata Trust. All right, Kritika, thank you so much for giving us those details. So, Ankara Ramanan, they're quitting Tata Trust. Thank you for those details, Kritika. With that, it is a wrap on this edition of Reporters Diary.